Hello friends, welcome in your technical friend. Many times you have a very special situation that you don't have a CD drive in your PC and you need to install Windows XP from a USB pen drive. Recently, I also encountered the same situation and decided to make a bootable pen drive of Windows XP. But after trying different methods, some of them are very hard and didn't work for me. I found a very easy method to make a bootable pen drive of Windows XP. Today, I am going to show you the same method in this step by step guide so you can make your own USB stick. And one more important thing about this method that you can also create a multi boot pen drive. I will show you how to make a multi boot pen drive in my another video. But first, let's make a bootable pen drive of Windows XP by this method. To download this application, fire up your browser and open easytoboot.com. On the website, in the left hand side, you can see a download link. Just click on it. On the download page, when you scroll down, you can see two links are available. One with around 17 MB file size and another with 46 MB file size. I am making a bootable pen drive of Windows XP. So I will download the second file which is 46 MB in file size. This setup also includes the SATA drivers which is required to successfully install Windows XP. If you click any of the link, you will be directed to a one drive page. Here you can see all the files related to this project. Click on this icon and select the list view to see the full name of the files. You can see the required file with the 46 MB file size. Just click on the file and downloading will be started. I have already downloaded the file so I will not download it again. After downloading this file, go to your file location and right click on it and select run as administrator. One more important thing before you run this file, maybe your antivirus detects a virus in this file and block or delete it. Believe me there is no virus in this software, it is a fault detection due to some auto run file included in this setup. So before running this file, make sure your antivirus is also turned off. After extraction process, application will automatically run. Make sure you have plugged in your pen drive. This blue screen is the main interface of this software. Here you can see my pen drive is detected. If this application is not showing your pen drive, then reinsert your pen drive and restart the application. This is asking for the drive number assigned to your pen drive. The drive number for my pen drive is 1, so I will type 1 and press enter. In this screen, it is asking to format your pen drive. So type Y and press enter. Now this is asking which file system should be used to format your pen drive. I will format my pen drive with NTFS file system. If you face any problem then in next try you should use FAT32 file system. To format pen drive with NTFS file system type N and press enter. In the next dialog box click OK. Now you can see your pen drive has been formatted and easy to boot is copying all the necessary file to your pen drive. This can take some time so you have to wait. After completion of this process, we have to make some configuration. Now type 0 and press enter to select your default language. If you are using some other language, then type the respective number and press enter. Here I am selecting default US keyboard with number 0. You can select any one as per your language and press enter. We don't need extension with file name in menu screen. So type N and press enter. Because we want to save the configuration we have made in last few steps. So type Y and press enter, a green screen and we are done. Configuration of easy to boot pen drive is completed and press any key to exit. So in these steps we have configured the pen drive as easy to boot bootable pen drive. Next step is very easy. Now we have to copy and paste our ISO file to the ISO folder of the easy to boot pen drive. So open the location where the image file of your Windows XP is located and copy it. Now open your pen drive. Here you can see many files and a ISO folder available in this pen drive. Just double click and open the ISO folder. You can see there are many folders for different ISO file of operating systems. As I told you in my next video I will show you how to make a multi boot pen drive using this method. So you can install Windows XP 7, Windows 10 or any Linux based operating system like Ubuntu from the same pen drive. Here we are making a Windows bootable pen drive. So open the Windows folder and you can see the folder for Windows XP also available. Just open the Windows XP folder and paste your ISO image file in this folder. Now your bootable pen drive is ready. I will test this pen drive on my computer. So I have to record the screen with my mobile. Sorry if the quality is not good. To boot from a pen drive, you have to make some changes in your BIOS system. You have to make your pen drive as a first booting device, which can be done by pressing F3 or F7 keys. You can also check on Google according to your computer system. After you boot from your pen drive, you can see easy to boot screen with many options. To install Windows XP, select Windows install menu and press enter. Now there are three options available to install Windows XP. If you have sufficient RAM to load your XP ISO file into the memory, you can select option 2nd and if you have very low RAM, you can select option 3rd. 
but in first you should use option number one which auto detect the hardware drivers so i will select the option one and press enter now type y and press enter this will auto detect the available drivers now press y to load iso into the ram after loading your iso image into the ram the system will restart and a blue screen of windows installation will appear now you can select the partition and install windows xp easily the rest of the process is very easy and maybe you are aware of it if you don't know how to install windows xp let me know in comments if you like the video please share it and press the like button and also make sure to subscribe the channel so you don't miss a single video when i upload thanks for watching and keep visiting